tonight on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. A tragedy that gripped the nation. At Fort Hood, the deadliest shooting at an American military base. He said Patrick's been shot four times. He had about a 5% chance to live. She spent every night holding my hand. Ended up saving my life. It really is a miracle that Patrick is even here. This week is about love conquering all. Please welcome <laughs> Dane Cook! Patrick, Jessica, your sacrifice, your dedication, your courage is an inspiration. We are going to give you the biggest and best wedding you've ever seen. Oh. Exhibit Leanne, I tell you what, this is going to be a huge week. Now, we all remember the shootings that happened at Fort Hood Military oh, yeah. Base, right? Well, this week we're helping out one of the soldiers that was injured in that attack. Right now, we're cruising through Bell County, Texas, on our way to meet that very soldier. So, this is Staff Sergeant Patrick Ziegler and his fiance, Jessica Hansen. Take a look at this, and you'll see why we're here. I fell in love with the military guy, and then he deployed to Iraq. We met when we were both on separate vacations in Hawaii. He was very chivalrous and very traditional. He became my Prince Charming. <laughs> we had such a connection from the very beginning, but he was deploying to Iraq. While he was in Iraq, we actually really valued writing little love letters. Heather, my love, I hope you're doing all right. I just wanted to say hi. We had been dating a year, but we had only actually spent a little over three weeks together in person. He returned to Fort Hood. And we got to spend a couple more days together. Then I returned to Boston right before the shooting happened. A deadly mass shooting at our Soldier Readiness Center on Fort Hood. The deadliest shooting ever at an American military base. A news ticker came across my phone that there had been a shooting at Fort Hood. And just my heart sank right away. You know, I called his phone and it would ring and ring and ring. And it wasn't until after midnight that his dad called me. And he said Patrick's been shot four times. And he listed the places and then he ended with one to the head. He said, you need to get here right away. He's not gonna make it. I remember just like telling myself over and over, like he's gone. And I was gonna go in there and be very strong. And never in a million years did I expect to walk in there and have him squeeze my hand and wake up. I held his hand and I told him I was there and he said, will you still marry me even though I got shot? And he wanted to know how um, I got there so quickly. And I think it was just those sentences that made me realize he was he was about to defy all the odds against him. I was shot directly in the side of the head, right above my right ear, also in my left shoulder and my left forearm and my left hip. This is a mold of Patrick's skull that shows the defect where he was shot. So this was the exact replica that they used to then create the plate that they put in to cover the hole. They told me that he had about a 5% chance to live and that even if he did live, he certainly wouldn't be the same person ever again. During my time in the hospital, I just couldn't believe that Jessica was staying with me the whole time. I mean, it was, that was my biggest motivation was her. I never accepted the fact that the doctor said I wouldn't walk. I never accepted the prognosis. I wanted to marry her and, and just continue to live. There really has not been a moment since November 5th that he has shown fear or doubt. He has been told that he wouldn't walk, that he wouldn't use his arm. One by one, he just keeps knocking him out of the way. He's a miracle. He really is a miracle. We are living in temporary housing that is in ours. I worry that I won't be able to provide him with the modifications that he'll need in his life. I guess that's what I asked of you for him, is to help me provide him with those things that, that he deserves. You know, if there was ever a person I knew that was deserving, it would be him. Wow. It's amazing that he's even still alive, yeah. isn't it? It's a yeah. miracle. Well, I mean, I think of what a great, you know, love story. Well, I think this week we can do a lot to sort of help them get a new start. In fact, we're headed to Fort Hood right now because there's an award ceremony going on for one of the members of his unit. And that's where we're going to start our mission. Perfect. So what do you say? You guys ready to do this? Ready to go. We're bringing in new people. Are you with me? With you. Come in, lads. Do, do it. it. So here's the mission. We're surprising Staff Sergeant Patrick Ziegler and his fiance Jessica Hansen at a ceremony to honor one of his own. And since the bus would be sort of obvious on an army base, to pull off the surprise, we're actually going to need the help of the big brass. 
Right. Let's show you your rides. Okay. What we have here is a couple Bradley fighting vehicles. These are the yeah. cavalry variants. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're pulling up in Bradley fighting vehicles. Ladies first. Wow. I need this on the 405 during traffic. Man, I wish I had one of those things in LA. You know, you tow this. <laughs> All right. See you soon. See you later, Colonel. All right. Be good inside there. I'm claustrophobic. Attain. Thank you, Kate Mathis. Thank you, Patrick Troop. Sorry, Major. Well sir. Keep up the hard work. Wow. All right, round of applause for our Coy Awardees. rolling up, I thought that they were doing a training exercise and that they were interrupting the ceremony. <laughs> Out pops Ty with that megaphone. <laughs> Hi! How are you guys? That's so cool I put you guys in bread. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hand it to your, uh, your unit. They uh, have been spectacular in making sure that you had no idea we were coming. <laughs> yes, they did. And I was with these guys for almost six years. And uh, I love them to death and they're getting ready to go back and do it again. I wish I could be there in the formation with them, but. I'll tell you what, this week we are absolutely honored to be here. And we're here to start you guys off on a bright new future in a home that's not only comfortable, but also permanent. How does that sound? Uh, my heart's going about 100 miles an hour. <laughs> so here's what I think we ought to do. Yeah. Why don't you guys show us around base, right? Let these gentlemen get back to work. Sound good to you guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I think this is a really big day, not only for Patrick and his fiance, but also for a lot of families here on the base. What happened at Fort Hood was just a huge tragedy and so many families were affected. And I think this week, us helping out one of their own, it's also gonna lift a few spirits around here because there's gonna be a bit of a happy ending. On 5 November 2009, a gunman opened fire at this location. There were a total of 32 wounded victims in addition to the 13 that were killed that day. Staff Sergeant Patrick Ziegler was sent from Iraq early, ahead of his unit, because he was selected to be uh, an officer candidate. So he was out processing uh, from theater to attend officer candidate school. That's tough, man. It's one thing to be able to see it on the news, but it's different and surreal to be standing at the actual site. His family came to the, uh, to the memorial, or the remembered ceremony that we had. When you see the faces and the pictures and kids' drawings, mom, dad, it puts a, a real clear picture of what happened there. All of our soldiers are deserving, but the fact that one of our own is getting a home is very tangible and important. So this isn't really your place, right? Yeah, this is, gotcha. this is base housing, so it's okay. temporary. Uh, it looks like you guys are sort of still in boxes. Yeah. That's a neat looking bike, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go check the inside while y'all are okay. talking. Right now, Patrick and Jessica are in temporary housing, so, you know, we have to get them out of there and into something new. And with that, it has to be a home that works for this family. More of a concrete area, yeah. an area that's nice and smooth. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. I love all the little, every day is a gift. And then I really like this one, all. Yeah, because two piece. people fell in love. That one is my favorite. We just think about all we've been through in the last two years and all because we happen to be in that same place at the same time. And you've been there, you know, through thick and thin. Yeah. So tell me about um, the proposal. I mean, what, you know, was it? <laughs> he had a car pick us up and he worked it out so the hospital let him leave. And he took me out to dinner and it was the first time he walked. 
And I thought the big surprise was him walking. Right. He pulls out a ring and asks me to marry him. And, and what, what he actually said was, will you, will you still marry me even though I got shot? Mm -hmm. And I said, of course, Patrick. You know, this has not changed anything other than now I realize how, you know, just how much I love you. It was... It was one of the best days of my life. You hear about these wonderful love stories, but for us to get to witness one up close and personal, it just makes you feel good. There was just a twinkling in her eyes when, you know, when she talked about Patrick. This is a recumbent bicycle. Right. It's a custom-made bi tricycle. There's only one of them, like, in the world. I've, I've pushed myself fairly hard, and I've come a lot farther than anybody would have anticipated at this point. They said I would never walk again. They said I would never use my left arm again. And that's about all I can get out of it as far as movement. But every time I do something that they said I wasn't going to be able to do, it's a, a little victory. Yeah. I think we end up taking our men and women of service for granted. I certainly do. You just don't think about it. The sacrifices they make, uh, both for country, for family, for, for us. Staff Sergeant Ziegler is still under a great deal of therapy, but he's doing things that no one thought he would ever be doing, and we're only about 13 months since the gunshot, so that's, uh, that's wonderful to see. What is it about this guy that draws you to him so much? Just his motivation and his determination and love for life. I mean, you can spend five minutes with him and see everything that he's overcome in just 13 months that they said he never would. They actually referred to me as number 14 for a while in the hospital because I was so close to death. But while I was still in critical condition, she spent every day and every night with me in my room, holding my hand, telling me she loved me, and just being there. Have you thought about what it would have been like going through all that without her around? I wouldn't have survived. Plain and simple, I wouldn't be here. I was very lucky to meet her, and in many ways it was fate, and I'm gonna take the opportunity to marry her and never letting go. Well, I say we get this future started. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a miracle that Patrick is even here. He's not only here, but He's got the love of his life still with him. For Jessica to put her entire life on hold just to focus on her man, that is like commitment and devotion like you don't see every day. That's love. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering where you're going on vacation, right? A little bit. Well, since you're a young couple, we thought we'd send you guys to Las Vegas! let the family know what's about to happen. What do you say? Yeah! Cheers, baby. Cheers, I love you. I love you, too. Hello, Patrick and Jessica. Hi, Ty. Hi, Ty. We are standing on a brand new plot of land that is going to be where your new home is going to be built. But first, I'd like to introduce you to our builders. So our first builder is Eddie Martin from Tilson Home Corporation! Yeah! We've also got Scott Norman from the Texas Association of Builders. Yeah! Martha Grissom from Temple Inlet! Anything you guys want to say to the family? You've given so much. We're so glad to be a part of this. We have been inspired by your courage and your commitment to overcoming the tragedy. You guys are truly the heroes today. I'd like to introduce you to another very important man. This is Dan Walrath, the founder and president of Operation Finally Home, an organization that builds free homes for soldiers that have served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Dan was a top 10 CNN hero. He's the one who actually donated this land that we're going to build your house on. Wow. Hey, guys, just want to let y'all know that now you're becoming a part of our Operation Finally Home family, and welcome. It's going to be ours. It's home, yeah. <laughs> 
So, Patrick, we also know that before we broke ground, you'd want the American flag raised. So, gentlemen, take it away. Quick post fight. That's awesome. See your friends doing that. That's cool. To see the men that I served with there at the site of my future home, it means everything to me. All the time I've put into the service, the experiences of my life have all been under the American flag. And this is going to be my home, my place to reflect on my time in the Army, serving the nation, and all the people I've served with. Wow. <laughs> so what do you say, people? You guys ready to start building? Let's get this thing started! Hey, X. We're in Texas and we're doing this whole Austin style rancher. What right. makes it actually an Austin style rancher? What are the elements? I tell you, outside of these Texas style hard hats and the stonework, it's this cedar entrance right here. That's what makes it an Austin style ranch home. Boom out. Boom, yeah, boom out just a little bit. What's up? Okay, so obviously this week we're really trying to give Patrick and Jessica a whole new start, building them a house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, I think we need to do more. Guys, what? come on in here. Nice. What is what that? We... Guess what? We're throwing a wedding. We're throwing a wedding. All right. All right. All right. I and, love weddings. And the best news is you're in charge. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, look to the girl. Yeah. Look to the girl. I don't know nothing about weddings. You guys might want to look for some suits. Gotcha. All right. You know, as a mother of a daughter, I'm familiar with weddings because you know, the minute you have a little girl, you start thinking about what their wedding is going to be. You know, usually we get a tie challenge and I'm ready to kill Ty. But on this particular situation, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. And um, yeah, exhibit and Polly, not so much. I think I need to go and talk to Jessica and Patrick about this. What do you want us to do? Um, I think y'all, can y'all handle a cake at a reception? We, we got, got the cake. That. We okay. Got the cake. Done deal. See ya. All right. She's in good hands. All right. Anyone have any idea how to make a cake? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what are we, how many people are we thinking? Like a hundred, hundred some? Well, we still got a lot to do. There's cakes, oh. there's dancing, there's flowers. There's flowers. Oh, God. Nothing says wedding like Exhibit and Polly. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever done any of this re reception before? Just, just my own. <laughs> <laughs> I've really not been to a lot of weddings. Isn't it like prom or something? <laughs> All right, let's go. So in the back, we found a place to do the reception. There'll be a lot of, a lot of dancing, a lot of dancing going on. You know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> Hi, good morning. I've got six people that I need to get from six different cities across this country to Las Vegas. Ready to check out. Patrick and Jessica, we had sent them to Las Vegas to get away, and I thought I needed a little help to surprise them, say, hey, we're having a wedding. So we arranged for the wedding party to meet me in Vegas. You tweet. Well, yeah, sometimes after I had too much chili. No. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> Patrick and Jessica have... No idea that y'all are here. We're gonna have this wonderful wedding back in Texas for Jessica and Patrick. So what better place to surprise them than in Las Vegas at a Terry Fedor show? We have some of the audience we want to recognize as somebody special. Uh, where's Army Staff Sergeant Patrick Ziegler and his fiance Jessica Hansen? Please stand up for us. Someone special has some news for you. Please welcome Leanne Tui, ladies and gentlemen. Texas, November 5th, 2009. 13 of our brave, heroic soldiers were killed and 32 were wounded in a horrible incident. Patrick was shot four times and he is with us tonight. Let's give it up for Patrick. And you know what? I have a big surprise for them tonight. They have had to put off having their wedding now for a very long time. So we are going to give you the biggest and best wedding you've ever seen in Texas. Come on, everybody that's going to help us throw this wedding. When we turned around, we saw three of our friends and my bridesmaids that consisted of my two best friends and my older sister. And that was just 
Unbelievable. Everyone, thank you for having us. We were just kind of shocked and amazed. It's a great surprise because I've been wanting to marry Jessica for a long time. Uh, we're going to let y'all do your guy stuff. We're going to leave y'all here. And we're going to go to Los Angeles. <laughs> what? And we are going to pick out some wedding dresses. We needed to get Jessica a wedding dress. And we just didn't want her to have any wedding dress. I mean, we wanted this to be really special for her. So that meant I whisked all the girls off to L.A. All right, blackjack. Ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's Same go. <laughs> That is Pergula is going to be the basis for our outside movie theater. When the screen is down, it's going to be strictly movies. But when it's up, first calf symbol right here. John, you actually made Patrick's bicycle, right? Yes, sir. As far as this bicycle, this is for Patrick's rehabilitation room. Correct. We're going to create an indoor simulation room. When Patrick's riding, it will generate an image on the screen. There'll be hills, there'll be valleys. Patrick, three months ago, was in ICU. And what has gotten him so far so quickly is his rehabilitation. So we have two bicycles now, one that he uses outside and a bike that's almost identical to that for our rehabilitation room. He couldn't walk but like 10 feet, and now you can walk like a mile. It's that's an terrific. unbelievable thing for just a little bike. Oh, awesome. Okay, so our other panel is there. With Patrick and Jessica, the way they stay connected was through letters. So what I want to do is take the copies of these letters and layer them like this so that it'll become like a texture. One of the projects I'm working on is going to be a headboard for Patrick and Jessica. And like the love letters that they have for each other really define who they are as a couple. That's going to be my inspiration for the headboard. Let's get started. Okay, this is some oil in oil? there. Yeah. Eggs? Yeah. Good. All right. this. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of coffee as well. Yeah, coffee, well, it's a coffee cake. cake. A little bit of uh, taco seasoning. Paulie and I, we were given the assignment to bake the wedding cake oh, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. At first, it felt like it was a good idea. <laughs> it's good so far. You know, we just couldn't put it together, so we called in some help. Duff! Perfect timing. How you doing, guys? What's up, man? Good What's to up, see man? you, man. What's going on? Good, good to see man. you. How you see it? Duff Goldman was on that show Ace of Cakes, so he obviously knows what he's doing. I think you also forgot flour. <laughs> you know why they call it a pound cake? Because it weighs a pound. Pound of butter, pound of flour, pound of sugar, pound of eggs. Thought it had to do with the weight of the. <laughs> and there's nothing happier at a wedding than a wedding cake, you know. And so uh, that's that's where I come in. We're gonna take some blades. We're gonna cut these. This you should be good at. We want the cake to be patriotic. We want it to be military. They got, you know, the insignia for the first cavalry. You know, I got the cross swords, and I'm like, all right, let's put those on the cake. First cav. Dude, you guys got this. Can you feel it? Yeah. Okay, ladies, let's get to it. Come on. Can't have too many shoes. That is really cute. I like that. The trip to LA was really a once in a lifetime opportunity. Leanne took us shopping on Rodeo Drive. We have a beautiful pearl necklace. Oh my gosh, wow. Being able to have my three best friends with me at the same time was probably the best gift I could have gotten as a bride-to-be. Let's go, ladies! Hi, honey. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, I so my appreciate pleasure. it. We thought, who better to do a wedding dress for Jessica than Monique Lulier? She's one of the premier wedding dress designers in our country. She has done wedding dresses for Carrie Underwood, for Jewel, for Pink. Very well dressed, really. It's a yes. full skirt with lots of detail on the hem, and it's draped on the bodice. The dress shopping made the wedding very real. Just a couple of months ago, Patrick was in the ICU, and to suddenly have all of this right in front of me was everything I had dreamed of and so much more. Gorgeous. Fabulous. Oh, that's pretty. Yes, very Grace Kelly-esque. Yes. The perfect dress is the most important thing for a bride. When she puts it on, that dress will speak to her. Some have told me my dress will sing to them. And then you just know. Oh my God, Love it. I love it. Fabulous. Oh, you look stunning. Jessica, it's perfect. I love it. I feel like I can walk down my aisle to Patrick in this dress. The dress looks beautiful on her. Jessica and Patrick, they've just been there for each other. And she really deserves this. Two amazing friends. <laughs> in the most perfect dress. <laughs> Cheers. Coming up. Dane Cook! Thank you very much, Fort Hood! What do you say we get you in that chapel and get you married? Oh, my God.
Now make sure we got the pleats all happening there, all right? Polly X! No! This is seriously impressive! Pretty okay. good, huh? Look at this detail you've got, little jewel. Mm -hmm. I got that from straight from Vanity Fair. These are chandeliers here, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought chandeliers would be too plain. So I wanted to dress it with uh, a box decor to kind of separate the monotony of the uh, drapes, you know, that are going all the way around. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, y'all just keep this up. <laughs> you're doing it well. This one's missing its silk. That looks like a shower cap. It does look like a shower cap. That's what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. has been about moving forward and it's about healing. So there's a very cool event that we're throwing that's honoring the victims of the Fort Hood tragedy. So we brought Patrick and Jessica home early because we want to make sure they're part of it. Today, we've got an announcement I think you're going to want to hear. Take it away, Dan. Thank you, Ty. Um, we were talking this week about wouldn't it be wonderful if we couldn't do something for all the victims of Fort Hood. And so tonight I wanted to announce that we have established a Fort Hood Victims Fund. And Jessica, we want to invite you to join with us and help us distribute this money. <laughs> Paul's actually got something else he wants to say. Our friends at CVS Pharmacy want to kickstart the Fort Hood Victims Fund, so they are donating $25,000 to that fund. Thank you to everybody who's here in uniform and serves our country. Cool. Oh. Because CVS makes such a generous donation, I know that Patrick and I are the only people who are being helped right now and that we're going to be able to turn around and make a tremendous difference in other people's lives too. So right now it gives me great honor to introduce you guys one of the most popular comedians out there today. Everybody in here that serves for our country. Your sacrifice, your dedication, your courage is an inspiration. My dad was a military guy and you know, just instilled in me at a very early age that giving back to your country was paramount to anything else. And I really wanted to make it to this date, so I... That's a very loud whistle. Whoa. You could train dolphins from here with that whistle. After a year of so many ups and downs and a lot of really scary times, it is so incredible for Patrick and I to finally see each other smiling and laughing. And then to hear laughter coming from Fort Hood is the greatest sound. Never get in arguments while you're packing. You're just shoving stuff into a bag for a bag. Oh, really? Is that what I do? Really? No, that's what you do. You do that too. I get 3,000 miles away. I've got one mitten in my luggage. I've got a spatula that I've jammed in there. One time I had the TV remote with me. Then my girl called me up, she goes, did you take the remote? Yeah, I took the remote. Then she goes like, she goes, well, can you put on channel 502? She said this, I go, what makes you think I can put on 502 from here? She goes, isn't it a universal remote? It's looking fantastic. All right, yeah. So he's not only funny, he can actually use a drill. How I use the drill is actually very funny. <laughs> <laughs> We're loading up the simulator right now. Our rehabilitation room's coming along, it's huh? It's coming along really well. I think well. this is going to be really cool. What's going on here? Nothing. Seems Nothing. awfully quiet in the house right now. All done? You guys are all done? We're all Take done. It. Seriously? Yeah. Well, then let's move into furniture! All right, let's do it. You know, this week has been truly incredible. It's been a long journey. Now the day is finally here. These guys are really getting married, and that is going to be awesome. Steph, 
Staff Sergeant Ziegler? Yes. What do you say we get you in that chapel and get you married? Sounds great. All right. Your bride's waiting. Come on. It was just such a good feeling. It's just one measure of how far we've come. It just shows that uh, in this act of violence, love cannot be defeated. After the shooting, Jessica never left my side. She was there every day, every night, and she was my one constant in my life. My wedding day was uh, the culmination of the entire year that we had just gone through together. And um, as I saw Jessica, I took my breath out of my chest. I just couldn't believe I was about to marry this woman. Jessica, I never would have imagined that I would meet my best friend. I didn't know what love was or that anyone could love as much as you love me. You are my wife, my queen, my love. Patrick, when I met you, I met a intelligent, determined, strong, selfless, courageous person. And you demonstrated those virtues under the most difficult trial that I could ever have imagined. And I vow to you that I will be that example for you as well and help you to be the best person that you can be. Patrick, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and cherish till death do you part? I do. Jessica, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce them husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Congratulations, uh, Staff Sergeant, Mr. Ziegler. There's still a new house for you guys to see. Are you guys ready for that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so why don't you guys climb in, and we'll meet you there. Right. Sound good? Coming up. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've ever had to move the bus to anybody in a wedding dress. <laughs> Staff Sergeant and Mrs. Patrick Ziegler! Thinking back on the journey that we've been on over the last year and the day of the shooting and how close we came to losing him then. And then to be standing there with my husband was beyond a dream. I can't believe how far he's come and how far we've come. Well, what do you say? You guys ready to see what's behind this bus? We're ready. <laughs> Are you guys ready? <laughs> this is the first time we've ever had to move the bus to anybody in a wedding dress. So this is really a first. <laughs> Well, guys, you know what to say. Say it with me. Here we go. Bus driver! Move that When the bus moved, it was unbelievable, and we had so many plans together. And then November 5th happened, and all of that was sort of swept out from underneath us. We were living in temporary housing that wasn't ours, and sort of see this new house that we get to move into and start a whole new beginning together, it was, it was perfect. Well, I'll tell you what, if you guys love the house, please give a big hug to our builders this week. Eddie Martin from Tilson Home Corporation, Scott Norman from the Texas Association of Builders, Doyle Simon from Temple Inland, and Dan Walrath from Operation Finally Home. This week's undoubtedly been an event that changed a whole lot of people's lives forever. And it all was worthwhile when you saw Patrick and Jessica see the house for the first time. It's a love story that is just an example of what our servicemen do for us and the women behind them and the strength that they both have. It's a, a moving experience. 
Well, guys, I've been waiting to say this all week. Please go check out your brand new house. Here we go. All right. <laughs> This is unbelievable. You've got wide open spaces. Even the hallways are wide. And as you can see, plenty of room for you to come through. Microwave at a lower height, so in case you want to just heat up something yourself, give you that independence. A low oven, so that you have accessibility as well. The new house has plenty of room for Patrick's wheelchair and to know that our home is safe and we never have to worry about things like that just is a huge sigh of relief for us. Patrick, Jessica, our friends at CVS Pharmacy know that continuing your rehabilitation is so important to your road to recovery. So behind those doors, they've equipped this room with state-of-the-art equipment, supplies, everything that's going to make you better, faster. And it's all going to be done right here at home. So go ahead in there. Go check out your new rehab room. All right. Oh, my God, Patrick. Wow. This is unbelievable. Oh, my God. <laughs> We can race. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. What do you think? This is unbelievable. Isn't it unbelievable? Oh, this is so unbelievable. So you get what this is, right? Side mm -hmm. by side, you guys. You can be in here. Patrick, you're on your bike, which is identical to that bicycle yeah. that you had out in front of the house, right? Right. So if it's raining, you can ride right here. Wow. I could not believe my eyes. I just looked around and said to myself, this is mine. And I was ready to start working out right then. <gasps> oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God, Patrick. Oh, my. <gasps> oh, my God. Baby, oh, my God. That's beautiful. Look at all the pictures. Yeah. Look at all the letters. It's all copies of the letters that we wrote. Oh, wow. Incredible. Hey. Ty, hey. this is unbelievable. You like? We love it. So, that is awesome. I know that the one thing that not only kept you guys going, but also gave you strength, even before the shooting, was the love letters. Yeah. And I'd open them up one at a time <laughs> whenever I felt like I needed a piece of home. Well, guys, I'm glad you like it. We love, we love it. it. Here's the cool thing. There's actually more to show you. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we still got a few surprises. Come on, follow me. All right. Guys, go check out your backyard. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> What's that? To learn how you can support our brave men and women who serve in our U.S. military like Staff Sergeant Ziegler, go to abettercommunity.com. <laughs> Guys, go check out your backyard. Oh, oh. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> wow. We are spent so much time with you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so check out your new backyard. This is awesome. Awesome. The first thing you're going to notice is that you have a spa. Yeah. CVS Pharmacy wants to make sure that you had a place that you can kick back, relax, enjoy spending time together as a newlywed couple. So this is what they provided. <laughs> wow. Definitely. Wow. That so awesome. is my new favorite part of the house. <laughs> <laughs> that spa is so awesome. I cannot wait to go jump in it today because that thing is just so P-I-M-P. And not only is this the first cavalry insignia, <laughs> but it's also your brand new movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When I first saw that movie screen, I was just amazed. It, was, it made me feel like I was a millionaire or something. Well, I think it's time to celebrate. Okay. So what do you say, shall we? Sounds good. Follow me. It's me great honor to introduce to you Staff Sergeant and Mrs. Patrick Ziegler! Looking back, I realized that I have to cherish every moment of my life because life is very fragile and I have an entire new life to look forward to now.
I honestly didn't know if Patrick and I would ever dance again, and he apologized that he might not be able to dance with me at our wedding. But he did when he danced with me. It was the greatest moment of my life. Love really does conquer all, and and we think back to where we met and all the places that that love took us in between, from Iraq to you know Fort Hood and hospitals, and that now we're back to the Fort Hood community, married in our own home, and it's all because two people went on vacation and two people fell in love. Well, guys, one final toast, and I finally get to say those words I really love saying. Welcome home, Ziegler family. Welcome home. Let's dance! To find out more about the products used on tonight's show, go to abc.com. See you dancing on the floor. Fly your skirt from head to toe. Catch your eye, you crack a smile. You like my style. So here we go. If you prove it, we can do it. Taking a chance.